Season's greetings to our viewing audience and welcome to another fall episode of Meek Productions number one LGBTQ community news talk show, Meek Pro Media Special Edition News. Hoping that you're enjoying the holiday season, hoping that your Thanksgiving holiday was beautiful. Uh, of course, we're grateful and thankful for a lot of things and stuff. And so we have so much in store uh, in this coming uh, before the fall season uh, ends and everything and uh, before we go on holiday break. But during the holiday season, we, we got a lot in store for you all. And uh, as I said previously in another episode, we got so much to share with you on uh, my trip to Italy, uh, being a part of the uh, International LGBTQ uh, Travel Association, their annual convention uh, in Milan. So we got some footage from that that we have to show you. And uh, it's just so much that we have to share with you. Uh, we got the best of 2020, uh, 22. And uh, I'm just so excited. And speaking of that, we have returning to our show uh, one of our good, good colleagues and friends of our company. And uh, we've been media partners for uh, their organization for uh, almost two and a half years now. We have back with us the executive director of Georgia's only LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce, the Out Georgia Business Alliance. We have brother Chris Lugo back with us. What's going on with you? Let me get you unmuted right quick. Hey, Nico. It's good to be here. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Glad to have you back on the show uh, for um, the last month of the year. And uh, can you believe it's December already? I cannot. No, <laughs> <laughs> it is wild. We're already here. Um, 2022 has been flying by. Um, so many awesome things that have been going on this year, but I'm so excited. What we've got going on this week, it's kind of a, an intense week to get prepared. But this week we are leading into Out Georgia's final main event of the year which is our community honors celebration we're holding this friday december 9th at atlanta city hall and we couldn't be more excited yeah because i know um this is this has really been an exciting year for you all because this is kind of like the first time you've all been able to bring things back to normal as they say because i know uh, in previous years everything had to be virtual because of the right. pandemic and uh y'all kind of had to combine uh both events like the summit and the community right. honors and stuff to just to you know kind of conserve you know funds and uh time and stuff like that but this time each event is able to have its own separate you know uh separate arena you know yeah. this time you know like it used to be so i'm just happy for you all i'm glad that things are back to normal <laughs> there you go and you know back to you know this new normal and we are we are thrilled if and you're right we've been in virtual mode like you know most organizations like ours uh for the past uh, you know year since uh COVID-19 took hold um but actually it's interesting the last time we held this event live our community honor celebration uh was in the fall of 2019 and that's actually where we announced that the organization was changing from the Atlanta Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce to the Out Georgia Business Alliance. So that was really cool. Like folks walked into the room there. It was at the Four Seasons in Atlanta that year. Wow. You walked into the room. Um, you, you were at an Atlanta Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce event, but you saw all of these, you know, backdrops and curtains that were like in this fuchsia pink, dark pink color. And people were like, huh, what is all that about? <laughs> and then right at the very end of the event, when we were closing out our final like toast moment, we we announced the uh, the branding switch up, the focus to a statewide, or refocus to a statewide organization. Uh, so it was really special the last time around. And this time, so first time we're back in person since that 2019 event, and it's full blown out Georgia all the way, baby. So we're, we're super excited. We've got a great lineup of, entertainment of you know the awards that we're giving out including a member of the year award in which Miko Evans uh is a nominee or finalist so we're excited about you as a finalist for that award we're announcing these live though however folks so 
make sure if you're not there already, uh, tune in for what happens next to see who wins that category and the seven other categories we have. So it's going to be a really cool evening. I think folks are going to really enjoy it. We have LGBTQ vendors and touches from, from the community all across the spectrum. You know, uh, it's really uh, amazing because if I'm not mistaken, back in 2019, that was when you just got elected. You you was just selected as executive director. Am I correct? Yeah, I was. I had just um, been hired just a, a couple of months before that event. So it was like coming into the Atlanta Gay and Lesbian Chamber um, right out of the gate. We had our business summit in early June. And that was my like, you know, just days into the job. And then this event was just a couple of months, you know, or a few months later. Um, so it was like right out of the gate, having our two biggest events uh, within a few months of each other. It was intense, but that was, it was really cool at the time because it was a way to start getting to know not only the community at large, but the membership and the, the people and the humans behind those organizations. You know, when you hear, you know, a Georgia Power or Coca-Cola or Meek Productions, you may not, but make, maybe Meek Productions is the right example, but you hear a business uh, name and you may not automatically associate faces with that business just yet. So it was really cool and, and, and really helped connect the dots for me of, you know, why we're doing this work and the people's lives that we have the potential to impact. So yeah, that was really, really cool, you know, beginning of my time with the Atlantic Gay and Lesbian Chamber and Out Georgia Business Alliance in 2019. Let's go ahead uh, and get started with what we can expect on this coming Friday, because okay. this is going to be actually the first time that you all are having the community honors or an event period at Atlanta City Hall. Yeah, so that's right. uh, I mean that this is going to be very exciting. It's like, you know, the next level uh, for the yeah. uh, for the organization and for the chamber. So uh, tell us a little bit about that, you know, how excited you are, uh, you know, to actually be at City Hall this year. Yeah, it's um, really, I think if you've not been to Atlanta City Hall before and you'll be attending the event this, this Friday, I think it's going to be uh, really fabulous. I mean, it's, it's a huge uh, open air atrium kind of space. So it is, you know, open like five or six stories to the glass ceiling. Uh, we're going to have some great lighting to, to light up the space. There's a lot of marble, folks. This is a, you know, this is a, it looks like a, you know, an old, uh, you know, Gotham City kind of city hall with so much marble in it. But it looks really wonderful, especially at night and under the lights. Um, we uh, first say that, you know, with some of the recent uptick in uh, violence and threats uh, toward and against our community. Um, we have taken some extra security precautions for this particular event. So guests can expect, um, once you park, we're suggesting folks either Uber, uh, you know, Uber Lyft, you know, public um, or ride sharing or public transit, but there's also a parking garage right there. Um, the entire block of Trinity Avenue in front of City Hall's entrance will be locked off. And then we will have some additional security inside the building. Uh, and if you've not been there before, they, there is 24-7 security there at City Hall. Um, so kind of like going through the airport, um, you know, airport security, you will have to take out everything from your pockets and lay them on the little conveyor belt scanner thing. You'll go through a metal detector and get into the building. Uh, we'll have some additional security inside as well. So we wanted to make sure that folks felt safe and comfortable coming to this space um, it may be in a different location than, than folks are used to going to, but we're super excited because it's going to be grand. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. So we are planning um, at 6 p.m., which is the official start of the event. 6 to 7.30 is going to be our cocktail reception, start getting your bites to eat moment. So when you get there, you're going to have um, uh, entertainment from the Metronome's big band. So the metronomes are actually part of the Atlanta Freedom Bands, uh, which is the LGBTQ um, band and, and uh, music ensembles uh, right here in Atlanta. So they're going to be providing some of the tunage and, and vibe right out of the gate from 6 o'clock to just before 730. You'll also have um, bites to eat. So this is going to be, it's not a plated dinner service like you would have at a typical gala. Uh, this is going to be kind of chef station style. You go to the station, you get what you want, and uh, small plates, and you get to sample some different uh, vendors. So we have Occasional Occasions by Carlton is one of our chef stations, and a 
educational occasions and Carlton Brown, incredible longtime members of the Alpha School of Business Alliance, yes. AGLCC prior to that. They're yes. a certified LGBT owned business and they focus a lot on like corporate and event catering and they do it so exceptionally well. Um, we also have Jim Chan's, which is a member restaurant of ours. Uh, and they have two locations in Atlanta and they will be, Jin Chan's and occasional locations will be the primary food vendors that we've got. And then we also will have desserts by Baker Dude. Uh, there will be a dessert spread by Baker Dude. Uh, there will be an open bar. Um, so we'll have bars on the first floor and the second floor. And then from a um, also te tequila perspective, we have Don Cosme Tequila, a local LGBTQ tequila brand that will be providing a, a tasting upstairs as well. So it's going to be cool. We're, we're kind of trying to get folks to come in and explore not only the downstairs main space, but get up to the second floor. We'll have one of those 360 cameras, another LGBTQ business. We, we've hired for that one. We're going to have a couple of bars up there. We'll have our big old step and repeat so you can get some memorable shots upstairs as well. So it's going to be a really great time. You know what? I, I love everything that you're doing because um, it's not every day, you know, that we see organizations that really, really, really focus on their target audience, you know, and uh, yeah. for, you know, this is the first time in a long time that I've actually seen a chamber of this particular magnitude really, really, really focus on um, all LGBT businesses. You know, you have some yeah. that have an LGBT business here or there, but mostly it's straight allies, which is always right. a good thing. But I, I love the fact that every vendor that's going to be at this event is an LGBT uh, owned and certified business. And that's why, you know, even when you mentioned Carlton, who's been a long time yeah. member of the organization since its old days. Uh, yeah. and, and the fact that you have Jin Chan, who actually was a recipient of one that's of right. the grant rewards uh, at this year's uh, business summit, correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, um, to, to that first point, um, Miko, it's, you know, if we're in a non-traditional space like Atlanta City Hall, there are, you know, there are pro, pros and cons of something like that, right? Uh, you know, for the organization, the pros are, you know, the symbolism and what that means, you know, the city of Atlanta welcoming an LGBTQ organization and events and people into their space to, to celebrate uh, with each other and celebrate each other's um, successes. But also, you know, some of the challenges of, of something like that is you have to get every single vendor yourself because the city of Atlanta may be providing a couple of things here and there, but they're really providing the space mm -hmm. and our, we're, we're contracting for the space. So every single other thing we have to do ourselves. If we went with a, you know, a traditional hotel space or event space, it may be a little bit of a different story with, you know, our ability to bring in our own caterers or our own, you know, alcohol company or what have you. So that's kind of the pro of using a space like this. Um, it's it's created, of course, a lot more complexity on the planning and production side of the house. But I think it's really rewarding. Like I asked myself when we first thought that Atlanta City Hall would be an option, how can we make sure literally up and down the production and event services billing that it's LGBTQ owned businesses? And I think like, I'm so excited that we have so many vendors that are making this event possible. Um, and we're not asking these vendors to like, to give us free stuff or discount. We're paying them for their services. And I think that's important as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes, very important. Very, yeah. very important. Because how can we say we support small businesses, but yet we don't, you know, uh, utilize yeah. businesses, utilize their services, or always expect to get something for them for, for free, because they right. have to survive as well. And so um, having these businesses also boosts uh, our buying power, and it also boosts yeah. our economy as LGBTQ people, and so that we can show the government and show, we can show the people that we are just as valuable as every other citizen. So I love, you know, what this is presenting on this coming Friday. Uh, we're going to take our only commercial break. When we come back, we're going to actually get more info about this Friday's uh, annual community honors event by the Out Georgia Business Alliance. And we're also going to talk about what's in store for 2023. And uh, which I'm so excited about uh, yeah. share with you all. So please stay tuned. We have more in store right here on a new fall episode of Meet Pro Media Special Edition News. We have more in store. Stay tuned.
You're tuned in to Meek Productions syndicated shows. Don't go anywhere. We do have more in store. Get ready to take a bite of Peach ATL. Peach ATL is Gay Atlanta's longest running LGBTQ business certified weekly magazine. We deliver the best in community events, arts, gay culture, and entertainment. Get weekly high profile celebrity interviews and coverage of the most important events and festivals, such as Out on Film, Toy Party, Joining Hearts Pool Party, and all Pride Festivals in Atlanta. We distribute all across Metro Atlanta to reach thousands of weekly readers right where they shop, live, and play. Go to peachatl.com for the digital issue and exclusive content even if you don't have access to a physical copy. Once again, go to peachatl.com to learn more and get your bite of Gay Atlanta. Hey there, this is George Carlton, president of the Metro Atlanta Association of Professionals. Are you looking to expand your business, seeking employment connections, or want to grow your professional network but don't love traditional networking? The MAP is right for you. As Atlanta's first LGBTQ plus business association, we pioneered partnerships and networking with Atlanta's leading change makers to help you connect authentically, in person and online, with people from diverse industries, identities, and histories. For more information about membership and being part of our legacy, visit our website at www.maapatl.org. Once again, that's mapatl.org. We look forward to connecting with you real soon. Meek Productions is proud to be an official media partner for this organization. For nearly 40 years, IGLTA has worked to advance LGBTQ plus travel globally, creating inclusive connections among tourism businesses and contributing to a safer, more welcoming landscape for queer travelers. Each year, IGLTA hosts a global convention the premier educational and networking event for LGBTQ plus tourism. Destinations around the world bid for the opportunity to host the event and show their support for diversity and inclusion. We had a tough choice to make. This year's bids were incredibly thoughtful and competitive. I am so proud to announce the 2023 host city takes us back to the Caribbean for the first time since 1985. Cultural diversity, commitment to LGBTQ plus visibility, and a beautiful setting. In 2023, we are going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Congratulations, Discover Puerto Rico. We will see you next year. IGLTA Global Convention 2023. Puerto Rico, the premier educational and networking event for LGBTQ plus tourism. Hello everyone, this is Chris Lugo, Executive Director of the Out Georgia Business Alliance, Georgia's only Chamber of Commerce serving the LGBTQ plus community and our allies. Formerly known as the Atlantic Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, Out Georgia serves the community by advocating for the most inclusive and equitable business environment, providing support and resources to fuel economic growth, and driving meaningful community connections and impact across the state of Georgia. For more information about membership and the legacy of our organization, please visit outgeorgia.org. Once again, that is outgeorgia.org. We look forward to serving and networking with you soon. Meek Productions is proud to be an official media partner for this organization. And we are back with the last half of our fall season uh, episode of Meek Pro Media Special Edition News with our returning guest and our partner in crime. <laughs> Chris Lugo, the executive director of the Out Georgia Business Alliance, the state of Georgia's only LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce. And uh, we're talking about the upcoming annual Community Honors, which is a signature event of the Out Georgia Business Alliance that's going to be held for the first time at uh, City Hall, Atlanta City Hall, right downtown on Trinity Avenue. So for more information on how to get your tickets, because they are almost sold out, please visit the official website at www.outgeorgia.org. That information should be located at the bottom of your screen. Chris, you still with us, babe? 
I am I am with us, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited. We've got even more uh, wonderful things with the event coming up, our community honors event on this Friday. I uh, love to dive in and kind of let you know everything we're going to be up to over the course of the evening. Yes, yes. Go ahead and I'll uh, talk about it and everything because I know uh, you briefly mentioned the vendors. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you kind of touched into uh, the performances, but you have more performances as well, because I know you have a couple of uh, uh, people who's going to be hosting that night as well, and a couple of drag performances too. So get That's into right. that. Yeah, um, so we're super excited. Again, this event starts 6 p.m. at Atlanta City Hall this Friday, December 9th. And um, at 6 p.m. to 7.30, it's going to be our open like cocktail um, and small bite reception. So that's when folks will be getting their beverages. Um, alcoholic and non-alcoholic will have a couple of signature drinks there as well. Um, that's when you'll be getting your small bites to eat, exploring the downstairs and upstairs space. Um, a little bit before 7.30, the Metronome's big band, which will be performing starting at six, they'll start to wrap up. And then we are going to ask folks to start taking their seats right at 7.30, which is officially when the program starts. We'll actually be having a performance by Ellosaurus Rex, one of Atlanta's iconic queens um, and definitely you know, a mother of the East Atlanta crew. Um, and uh, Ellosaurus Rex will be serving not only as one of our performers for the evening, but is also serving as our mistress of events. So Ellosaurus Rex will be uh, kicking off with a performance right at 7.30. So this is like, come on, take your seats and let's be entertained. Um, and Ellisaurus Rex will also be helping us connect the dots throughout the program of helping us with introductions, getting folks on stage, providing some commentary, you know, the things that we love about Ellisaurus Rex here in Atlanta. Um, we will be going through uh, eight category awards. So those include Business Leader of the Year, Community Leader of the Year, Next Gen Leader of the Year, our Nonprofit of the Year, our Corporate Ally of the Year, our new business of the year, our small business of the year, and of course, our member of the year. And just a note to everyone, a little asterisk, Nico is up for a finalist in that category, super excited. And, you know, as we were looking back to the last time we did this thing live and in person, which was 2019, as I mentioned earlier, we, um, we wanted to punch up a little bit of the entertainment value of, for the evening. So we took some of that feedback. What we said was, now, how could we bring in some of Atlanta's, you know, queens and, and entertainment scene into the mix here? So we have Ellosaurus Rex, who will be kicking off the show right at 730. And then about every two or three award categories, we're going to have a, another performance happening from a, from a drag perspective. So we also have .com, a uh, local uh, incredible Atlanta queen, and Michael Robinson, who will be um, kind of alternating. So it's going to be like EllosaurusRex.com and Michael Robinson um, interspersed. They're going to perform twice each throughout the actual, you know, hour and a half, two hour program. Um, so it's going to be cool. So you're going to get a couple of awards in, you're going to see a drag performance. You're going to get a couple of awards in, you're going to see another drag performance. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Bring your ones. If you're attending, we want to make sure we're tipping the Queens well, of course. Another thing that I'm really excited about, Nico, is not only these eight uh, categories, which each of them have either four or five finalists in those categories, so recognizing our finalists, but also we're going to have eight individuals or organizations that are recognized for their excellence, um, not only in their respective categories, but also their excellence when it comes to LGBTQ plus representation, advocacy, um, and awareness. So we're super just honored that we get the the chance to spotlight them. And then right at the end of our production, or the, the actual program part of this, we're going to be inviting folks with United Way on stage. And we are finally at that point, Nico, we've been talking about our Altruity Impact Fund for a moment now, for about a year and a half. And we're finally to our very first grant awards. We're gonna be giving away $35,000 to several nonprofits. Wow. Um, we're gonna be inviting them on stage, you know, doing the check moment. So we're going to end the evening with a moment of saying, hey, we are investing back in our community. The nonprofits that are out there investing time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears to serve our community. Um, so you're going to see, I think, seven nonprofit organizations um, receive grants during that time. So I think it's going to be a really, really wonderful end. 
And then after we get all of those feel good moments, we're going to be able to let our proverbial hair down and uh, use like the last hour and a half, two hours of the evening. Uh, we have a, a incredible DJ Gizella, Giella, sorry, Giella, who is a wonderful black queer non-binary DJ here in Atlanta, who's going to be taking us home from a beats perspective right there at the end. Um, and of course, we'll still continue to serve um, our drinks, uh, our light bites during that time as well. So I think it's just going to be a really fun and wonderful evening and certainly encourage ride sharing uh, so that you can take full advantage of everything that we'll have to offer there for the evening. Awesome. This is going to be really, really exciting uh, with everything that's going on because it's almost like um, when you actually look at the way that things are set up, it's actually like a, a community awards slash holiday party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slash, you know, little, slash net, net, uh, networking party. So it's like a combination of all of those things, you know, since it's the last yeah. event of the year. So this is going to be wonderful. Wow. I think so. I think so. Um, we've got a team of around 20 volunteers who are going to be with us that evening. Lots of, again, like folks that are represented from our finalists, a lot of other community folks that will be there. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, we're going to focus on just enjoying each other's company. And you said, as you said it, like we're in the holiday season. Um, we want folks to, you know, this is kind of like a reflective time of year, but also a time to kind of acknowledge the excellence, acknowledge the hurdles that we've all been clearing or attempting to clear this year individually with our businesses, with our organizations. Let's take a moment to uh, breathe, acknowledge that, and kind of gather in fellowship. And just simply like this is all about love and, and encouraging each other and celebrating each other. No matter if you're a winner of a category or you're recognized or not, we were just honored to provide a space that is, you know, open to everyone, respectful of everyone. And um, I think just acknowledging the power, as you were mentioning, not only the economic power of our community, but just the human humanity and soul power of our community. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, incredible, inspiring folks and in organizations doing the work, and you know, let's let's show them some love. Absolutely, and uh, especially with a lot of the groundbreaking things that you all have been able to do uh, this year, you know, uh, with the uh, initiatives that you all have for the uh, trans community. Yeah, uh, you know, shout outs to uh, one of your fabulous board members, uh, Sister Gabrielle Claiborne. Can't wait to have her on the show, uh, and everything that you all are doing with the trans initiative is uh, very powerful. I also love the things that you all did uh, as it relates to uh, LGBT uh, businesses of color that you all did this year, both doing Black History Month and also doing Atlanta Black Gay Pride. So there's a lot of things that you all are doing to make sure that everybody is included and that it's not just mouth service, uh, that is actually, you know, action put behind the words. So um, I really commend you all for doing that. Uh, you know, this year, even more this year than ever. So uh, what can we expect since we're at the end of uh, 2022? Still can't believe it. <laughs> since we're at the end of the year, uh, what can we expect for 2023? From the Out Georgia Business Alliance in 2023, I, I would say you can expect even more intentionality behind our programming, and our events and the value that we're trying to, to serve up for our members and the larger LGBTQ plus community. We want to drive awareness um, beyond Metro Atlanta. So you can expect to see some of our events and programming show up in Savannah, in Macon and some other stops along the way. Um, of course, we, we spent a lot of this this past year, 2022, getting out to as many of those pride festivals as possible in Atlanta. I'm sorry, Georgia has a lot of them. So we were out as, at as many of those as possible. We, we met so many incredible folks who just didn't know a lot about us just yet. We did that. So we want to take that time in 2023 to literally get out with our events and programming around the state. We're, of course, we're going to need some help when it comes to local businesses and corporations and nonprofits to help us pull those off. But I will say we have um, a bit more of a like a ratcheted up approach to intentionality this next year on february 1st it's going to be our big first big event of the year and that's going to be our kickoff and membership drive 
uh, that we're hosting right here in Midtown. And that's where we're inviting members, but members bring somebody along who you think would be a fit for the Outdoor to Business Alliance. Bring somebody who doesn't know who we are just yet so that we can have a larger, probably what will be one of the largest LGBTQ networking events in our state um, on February 1st. So I wanna encourage you to keep your eye on the website for that one, outdoorgia.org. And then the, the next kind of big major event of ours that we've got on the books already is gonna be our LGBTQ plus business summit and matchmaker event. It's happening June 21st and 22nd of 2023. And we will be at the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank um, at the, in the heart of Midtown. So that's going to be one where we're on site two days together um, to not only, yes, kind of fellowship and the things that we're doing this Friday, but this is like to learn and get into those nitty gritty um, subject matter experts and dive into topics that are important to small businesses and our membership today, um, or rather, you know, in 2023. So one thing to be on the lookout there is not, not only do we have, um, you know, we have our space and, and, and the timing of it locked in, but we are going to be looking for presenters and sessions and workshops. And we will have an open period where you can submit proposals for sessions and panel discussions and things that you perhaps would like to pitch or lead um, for your organization. As long as you're a member, we accept those kind of proposals. And I think it's going to be an elevated experience because we are going to have a matchmaking experience, which means that we get some, some specific times to sit down a certified LGBT on business with one of our corporate allies that has a supplier diversity program. And typically those programs, they have goals of getting LGBTQ vendors into their, into their universe, into their supply chain. Mm -hmm. So this would be facilitating some of those direct meetings um, so that we can hopefully unlock some additional economic opportunity for our member organizations. So those are like the first two big things that we've got on our, our major calendar. We also are going to be looking at some additional TGX 360 events. As you were mentioning, that initiative centers our trans and non-binary job seekers as well as entrepreneurs. And we're going to be getting some more programming, intentional programming off to represent TGX 360. We just hired uh, a couple of months ago, we just hired our first staffer who's solely focused on advancing TGX 360. Wow. And we're actually right now hiring a graphic designer to, uh, you know, ideally a trans or non-binary graphic designer to help us dream up the logo that of TGX 360. It's, it's not a thing, you know, when I think about intentionality, it's not just, hey, can we get a logo for this? Or can we have an event that celebrates you know, this community? But asking that question up and down, you know, the billing, how can we incorporate the folks of the community we're intending to serve in the actual planning production of it as well. So that's another example where we're saying, hey, we would like, we would prefer to find a trans non-binary gender expansive graphic designer to, to focus on this because it's gonna be representing that community. Um, and then as we look beyond the summer, beyond that business summit, we wanna bring back those things like um, the focus on black businesses, you know, leading into Atlanta black, um, Atlanta Black Ape Pride in early September. So we really want to focus on exploring that one even further. Um, of course, we'll be activating around as many of those Pride Fests as we can this next year. And we're going to need lots of volunteers to help spread the word and, and, and introduce the organization to folks. And then if you live somewhere else, you know, beyond Metro Atlanta and you're here in Georgia and you'd love to help us get something off the ground in your area, we are all ears right now. So if, especially if we can have a volunteer or somebody who can help us bring, you know, a small networking lunch to life, let's do it because we we know that when there are more folks connected in smaller smaller communities and connected to a network of members across the state, it's only going to be better for us all. Absolutely, because I know uh, one of the biggest things that I'm really looking forward to, uh, and I know we're probably going to be working with you all on that, is uh, now that. Um, the organization is statewide. I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, having some of our events in some of the other uh, cities wow. in the state of Georgia uh, and actually making sure that, you know, we, you know, represent, you know, the other cities and the other uh, LGBTQ plus communities within the state. So uh, I know that's going to be one of the things I'm looking forward to participating in uh, in 2023, you know. So um, Chris, once again, to you, to the board, to the organization, Congratulations on everything that you all have accomplished in uh, in 2022. 
Uh, you know, we're proud to have been a media partner for uh, with this organization for that, yeah, two and a half years. And right. going right. on years. And so, uh, you know, um, I, I'm just excited, you know, for this uh, coming Friday and for what's in store for 2023 and stuff. And of course, you know, we're going to always be there to support. Uh, for more information for those people who are looking to be a part of uh, this coming Friday's annual community honors at Atlanta City Hall. Once again, get your tickets while they still last. www.outgeorgia.org is the official website. That information should be located at the bottom of your screen. Um, and you can follow them on social media uh, at uh, Out Georgia, of course. That's both on uh, Instagram, on Facebook. And y'all still on Twitter too, right? Twitter and LinkedIn. Yep. Yeah, Twitter and LinkedIn and stuff like that. So y'all can uh, find all that information via their website, also located at the bottom of your screen. And also you can continue to follow us on all, all social media platforms. Uh, and all that information is located at the bottom of your screen. Chris, can't wait to see you on this weekend. It's going to be fabulous. Come on, <laughs> come on. Look, if you, if you want to get dolled up, we encourage it. Uh, we're going to have some great photographers in the house. We're going to have our step and repeat moments with the little red carpet. So feel empowered to come looking and feeling your best, whatever that means to you. And let's just have a good time with each other this Friday at Atlanta City Hall. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. <laughs> and until our next episode, to those of you that are viewing us right now, continue to make it a great day. Continue to make it a great holiday season. Happy holidays to everyone. And I cannot wait to see you all and also hear from you soon when we get ready to share our next new episode. All right. <laughs> get ready for the best of 2022 and all of our throwback episodes that we're going to be showing uh, you all um, the best of what happened to us this year because we got some uh, additional footage uh, from the Out Georgia Business Summit. We got some additional footage that we didn't get a chance to uh, broadcast during that time. So uh, we got some additional footage from that, our footage from uh, Italy with the uh, International LGBTQ um, Travel Association. We got some uh, previous footage from this year's Atlanta Black Pride. We got some footage from our March uh, with Atlanta Pride this year. So we got so much throwback. <laughs> and we're going to try to get as much as we can throughout the, the holiday season and stuff. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Chris, look to see you this coming Friday. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> Y'all take care. <laughs>